Hey guys, what is up? Jay Flanny here bringing you a live commentary. I'm playing Capture the Flag on Rundown. How are you guys doing? Using the Sky Silence. Sorry I haven't been posting as many videos. It's been busy with school, football, you know, the usual. Uh, and I haven't been able to post as many videos. So I'm sorry for that, but I've been recording quite a few. Uh, I do have some that I'll be uploading, and I'm going to try to bring you guys some more uh, Spaz 12 shotgun uh, clips that are pretty exciting. Um, the last one was my brother's clip, um, and it's a really good clip. I suggest checking it out. I, I just called it the world's fastest kill streak for a cool title to get a lot of views, but I, I only have eight views on it, so uh, check it out. It's a really good video, and I'd like to see it get exposed and help uh, me and my brother's channel out. And uh, for those of you who do not know what my brother's channel is, um, he has the same name. Just put a T in front of the uh, funny, uh, T2025. So, yeah. So, using Scavenger Pro, Cold Blood Pro, and Ninja Pro. I actually got Cold Blood Pro, and that, go, that, uh, not that, going, uh, that perk is amazing. Um, really hard to get. Um, it's just a really, um, you have to shoot down a lot of air support to get that. Um, it, it, it's amazing um, that uh, a lot of the times they think you're your teammate and they won't even try to shooting at you. And it's pretty funny, um, especially when you're using a silenced weapon. They're all confused and have no idea uh, where you're at. But it does take a while to get. You have to shoot down a lot of air support, which does suck. And, but it's well worth uh, Cold Blood Pro. I think it's the hardest pro perk in the game to get. Um, you have to shoot down 40 things. It took me quite a while. Um, but now I just got to change the uh, shoot down class. I'm not going to shoot down anymore air support. I don't have to worry about air support anymore. And I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. I'm just walking up and going up and down, up and down. Like a big retard. There's going to be somebody up here. Hey, where are you at, bro? Alright, so let's go out here. Looking around. Let's sneak around the map. I like staying on the outskirts of the map. That way no one can kill you from behind. See, if I stay over here, no one can kill me from behind. Um, unless they have, like, a tad insertion that I didn't find. That would be pretty ridiculous. Or the spawn system's that fucked up where they have some guy spawn me right behind me, which would be ridiculous. So, you can die, bro, or you can not die, bro. And I see a lot of red dots. Um, I'm not going to rush it in there. And look. He's no idea where I am. At least I hope he doesn't know where I am. And, ooh, I just got a random double kill. I like that. So, oh, I'm getting new to Time to get the frig out of here. Run, Jimmy, run. Die. I get my hurry up, but I die. Of course. I knew somebody was chasing me with, like, something. I, I just couldn't, couldn't manage to, uh, figure out what the hell was going on. I was trying to stay on the outskirts, but unfortunately failed. I'm going to save the Harriers just for the next round so I can get a multi-kill in the beginning. Yeah. I see a tat insertion in there. Just kind of wait for him. Spawn. He can die. Ooh, he almost got me there. Um, tat insertions, I don't think they do anything for you. Uh, it really doesn't help you. Uh, the Semtex uh, or Claymore helps you out so much better. It's I think it's just a waste of an equipment to use. and. I can't believe they're bringing that back in my Warfare 3. I hope no one, uh, I don't know, something to do with, like, I don't know. I don't know how to put it, but I hope, like, there's a way where you can't boost using them. Um, it would really annoy a lot of people if they brought that back. Because that was one of the problems with this game. Uh, there's, like, only a few problems with this game. Uh, the one main army YouTubers, Commando, and uh, Boosting. Other than that, I think this game is an amazing game. The noob tubes are very powerful, and to take advantage of them uh, is ridiculous, but hey, it's a game, what are you going to do, everyone makes mistakes. I like this game a lot, um, even though it has some flaws, but what are you going to do, every game has flaws. Uh, I like the game because the maps aren't complicated like Black Ops, and it's a quick paced game. Um, Black Ops, to me, seems like a really slow paced game, unless you're in Ground War, and I absolutely suck at Ground War. But it seems to me that uh, you have to be in a ground war game in order for it to be a fast-paced game. That's why I don't like, see, look, I'm just picking up, dropping, killing. And look, there's somebody probably else too. Uh, it's a fast-paced game. Uh, you get uh, a lot of kills. As I get, uh, see the new tube right there? This is what we call, somebody takes advantage of a new tube. Uh, I think it's an afterlife, though. But he takes advantage of the new tube. Um, 
If it wasn't for new tubes, I'd probably be 13, maybe even 13 and 0 right now. But hey, what are you going to do? So it's time for Harriers. Hopefully, we can get a multi kill. Put it right over grab. Uh, usually, we'll be good kill. And it's not going to get me anything. That sucks. Nope, this one's mine. Yep. I was wondering, I was like, I was like, how the heck does my Harry not get me any kills? I hate when that happens. I really should have called in before, because the Harry was only last minute, so um, I should have called in before, but I wanted to get the, the cool, like, double kill before. So now there's two Harriers out, so now they're going to split, like, uh, kill more people. It looks like mine's doing better than his. So, Harry is going to work. So let's try to clear him out of the houses, make sure no one's in here. No one seems to be in here. And we'll get to the next house, the next building, and no one's in here either. That's a good sign. I'm gonna pick up the Tar 21. I like the Tar 21. And he's in our house. There's nothing really I can do about it. He's too far away from me. And yeah. So now my hair is gone. Oh, finally. Oh, finally got 300 kills with that Tar. Uh, I like the Tar 21. I'm sad that they're not bringing that back in Modern Warfare 3. Um, so, I'm going to talk about a little bit about Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I looked at the kill streaks, and the kill streaks look pretty cool. The one that uh, gets my eye the most is Juggernaut. I think that's going to be really cool to use. Uh, look, uh, if you guys have played this game before, and you ever play uh, Special Ops, the Juggernaut's a pretty uh, beastly of a, uh, whatever you want to call him, a person, I guess. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, and the use that as a perk seems pretty freaking uh, cool. And I can't wait to see what uh, uh, Juggernaut's going to do. And I like the spas. Um, I believe they are bringing that back in Modern Warfare 3 um, as a primary weapon. Like in Black Ops, you can use uh, shotguns as primary weapons. So that should be very interesting um, to use. And I can't wait for uh, those to come out. And of course, I always die so many times. I never can just die like less than five times, but I was going to die like almost double digits, and yeah, I'm not the best game player, guys. I was thinking about uh, lowering the kill streaks and just trying to get as many kills as possible. Black Ops, it seems like it's a lot easier to get 100 plus kills just because the kill streaks are a lot, I don't know, just the dogs um, and the uh, chopper gunner look like beastly of uh, kill streaks. And it doesn't, uh, the AC-130 and all that is beast if you know how to use it. But I'm not very good with the kill streaks. I'm not a very good chopper gunner. Uh, it's not that hard to use, so that's the only reason I'm good at it. Uh, all you gotta do is just spray on it. Uh, it all depends on uh, how many people are cold-blooded. Uh, a lot of people do use cold-blooded in this game, and it really does suck. And um, I'm one of those people that use cold-blooded. Uh, they are bringing back a cold-blooded, but it's not called cold-blooded. I'm not sure. Uh, called like Assassin, I think? No, Assassin was Ninja. Um, but there is a cold-blooded though. Um, it's not cold-blooded, it's not called cold-blooded, but it serves the same purpose. So I will be using that just because the kill streaks look pretty beastly in the game. And uh, I just can't wait for the game to come out. And I can't wait to make videos for you guys when it does come out. Uh, if I do not get the game uh, by its release date, I probably will be getting it for Christmas. So I hope to get the game as soon as possible to bring you guys some awesome uh, videos, clips, and see what I can do with the game, and have fun with the game, and just play it out like I did this game. And I still won't let this game go. I'll still be playing it quite a bit. I really enjoyed this game, and I think it's the, the best Call of Duty, even though it does have its flaws. I think it's a lot better than Black Ops. Black Ops is just so boring, and yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to really say, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, and I'm sorry for not uh, bringing you guys as many videos as I usually do, but I will be trying to get you guys more videos and watch this. I'm going to run in here, and I'm going to have a freaking crazy streak. Nope, there's only two guys in here. Ah, uh, they're, they're, like, using tat insertions and all that crap. Uh, pick up as many people as I can before this game runs out. I really like the G18s and Banco. They are beast. Like me. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I was saying there. But I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment 
and let me know what you guys think of the gameplay or commentary. And I'll see you guys later. 24 and 10 is not the best gameplay, but it is a good commentary. I'll see you guys later. Subscribe, leave comments, and like the video. I'm out. Peace.